The dinosaur we have been waiting for nearly 30 years to make a comeback is finally getting its return in Camp Cretaceous Season 4. That is right guys, the Dilophosaurus himself is making a comeback, baby. That's new. Something tells me we shouldn't go in there. Which means we're obviously going in there. Come on. Hello everybody and welcome to another Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Season 4 video which after recording and uploading the previous video that you guys probably are watching right now or just before this one of course of course get it right Austin I discovered some new information for the Season 4 because Swerve and a few others released a few videos and also Twitter is kind of giving me a lot of notifications about it and that is the Dilophosaurus is returning, which I had heard a rumor about a while ago, but I didn't want to set the expectations too high because it wasn't confirmed. But now with both this new image that we will show in just a second, as well as a bit of information from people who got to see the season four premiere a little bit early, which I didn't want to go into that bit of information because, well, it's kind of spoiling a lot of information and I don't want to until, you know, the show comes out of course. And we are going to start off this video with looking at this new image of the Dilophosaurus. Actually, two Dilophosaurus along with Kenji and Darius running away from them, which, oh my god, it looks so good. Although it is not 100% accurate with some changes, of course. For one, the um, red on the frill for the Dilophosaurus is much thicker and less veiny and more vibrant than it was in the Jurassic Park movie, which is understandable. They, they didn't have it perfect, but I would have liked if it was perfect. You know, I'm a picky guy, you see. But still, it's awesome to have Dilophosaurus. And if we point out, it's not a small one like it was in the first movie. No, this one, these Dilophosaurus appear to be bigger than both Kenji and Darius, which they don't look like they're 10 feet tall like they should be, because, you know, God forbid they give us that. Maybe they will in Dominion, because we know the Dilophosaurus is returning in Dominion, it's been confirmed already. And one thing that's interesting with the image is it shows Darius and Kenji holding two, both of them a grocery bag, and also, interestingly enough, a sort of shield that they are holding, which for Darius we can see has spit marks from the Dilophosaurus, as it has that classic black sludge well, actually three sledge marks, that is signature of the Dilophosaurus's venom spit, which is interesting to see, and also we know that Darius should know that Dilophosaurus is, is venomous, because remember in Camp Cretaceous Season 3, in one of the scenes, we do see that in his little notebook he has information on Dilophosaurus as well, which means he must have seen one. And the biggest thing to take from this image is how did they get there, because for all we know, for what we know so far in the canon of the franchise, all Dilophosaurus on Isla Sorna were confirmed to be extinct before the events of the Lost World, which was in 1997. They did survive and last on Jurassic Park's island of Isla Nublar, all the way, of course, as we mentioned, Darius did see one, or multiple, we don't know. Why didn't we get to see that, guys? But still, it's going to be interesting what happened to them, and also... Are these ones made from DNA? Did they capture them like they did the Spinosaurus or the Scorpius Rex even? Who knows? We'll maybe talk about that in a future video. But guys, we're going to wrap up that video. I know very, very short, but I've got another video that's going to dive a little bit deeper into this topic as well. But also, I just wanted to get this out here. Dilophosaurus is back, baby. It's awesome, and I cannot wait to see it kill someone. And I hope, hope, hope that it does not have a role similar to Dimorphodon did in season three because one of my biggest disappointments with season three was that was that the Dimorphodon who we hadn't seen in over six years at that point had basically just a glorified cameo it had one scene dedicated to it and other than that it had nothing else which was unfortunate I do wish they would stop doing that with some of the dinosaurs in the show and I hope they don't do it with Dilophosaurus as well I want to see him multiple times in the show at least three give me at least three scenes we need all the Dilophosaurus we can get guys don't you agree 
But anyway, guys, leave your thoughts of it, the Dilophosaurus returning in the comments. Are you excited to see it? And also, what do you think its role will be? Leave in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, guys, I would appreciate the like. And if you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. Be safe. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.